Hello everybody, it's Conti here with another video. How to use the free playhead and lock playhead tools in DaVinci Resolve 16.1.2. Ensure that you are inside the cut window in your DaVinci Resolve interface. Left click on this icon once towards the bottom of your screen. Go to File, Import File and Import Media. Alternatively, use Ctrl and I to insert a video clip to your project file. Use command instead of control if you are a Mac user. Inside your media pool master, you should find the thumbnail for the video clip that you have inserted. Left click on this once. Left click once on the append button underneath your media pool. Alternatively, you can use your mouse cursor to drag the video clip to your timeline by left clicking once, holding the mouse button down and dragging your cursor towards the timeline letting go once your video clip is in place. Your video clip should appear at the very beginning of your timeline at the zero second mark. After appending, the red playhead will appear at the very end of your video edit. The end of your video clip is also represented in a bottom timeline, which features thumbnails representing the frames which make up your video file that you have just inserted. At present, free playhead is selected by default in DaVinci Resolve. Using my mouse cursor, I'm going to left click and hold my mouse button down over the red playhead in the middle timeline. If I drag my mouse cursor to the left here, the position of the red playhead on both timelines is parallel. So for example here, we can see that the red playhead on the bottom timeline is positioned at the 36th second mark just as the red playhead is on the middle timeline. If I drag my mouse cursor to the red playhead in the bottom timeline, note how the cursor for my mouse device is represented by an arrow. The position of the red playhead can also be changed by holding in K on your keyboard and tapping J to move this to the left, to an earlier part of your video. Or alternatively, hold in K and tap L to move the red indicator to the right. Each time that either J or L is tapped, the red indicator will move along by one frame. Note how the bottom red indicator can be shifted left and right across its timeline, with earlier footage being shown on the thumbnails for the frames for a video clip as we shift the red playhead to the left and later segments of the same clip being shown on the timeline as we drag the red playhead to the right. If we left click once on the lock playhead option though to select this, the position of the red playhead on the bottom timeline is reset to the center of the screen. An advantage of the lock playhead setting to a DaVinci Resolve video editor is that an equal amount of frame thumbnails before and after the pointer with the red playhead can be shown on screen at the same time. Giving the video editor a clear idea of the footage that lies before and after the red playhead on their timeline. If I go to drag my mouse cursor to the red line itself, the arrow changes to two triangles set in a horizontal line, one pointing left and one pointing right. If I left click hold my mouse button down and drag this mouse cursor to the left whilst on the 32 second mark here, I let go of my left mouse button once the red line is at the 34 second mark. The images at the bottom inside the edit have shifted to the left whilst the red indicator remains frozen in its central position. The same occurs when we hold our left mouse button down on the red line on the timeline and drag our mouse to the right. Alternatively, as we did before, hold K and tap J to move to an earlier section of your video, or hold K and tap L to move to a later section. And should the position of the red playhead in the central timeline be modified by using the mouse cursor as well? such as me left clicking on this and dragging this to the right, to the end of my video clip here. The position of the bottom red playhead remains the same, frozen in the middle of the screen, 
with the lock playhead setting. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoy the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.